Good morning on the 22nd of February. We are on our way with the gospel text of yesterday's Masses and Services, which is written in Mark, Mark 1 in the verses 12 and 13. Immediately we read, the Spirit power drove Jesus out in the desert. And in the desert he stayed for 40 years. During this time, Jesus was tested by the Satan. And he lived with the wild animals and the angels cared for him extensively. Wow, what a short and brave text. 40 days we were told that Jesus was led into the desert. Jesus was led by the spirit power into the desert. Then he met Satan and Satan tested him, challenged him, and he lived with the wild animals and he was cared for by the angels. How can you better describe a whole life? 40 days equals the 40 years that the people of Israel wandered through the desert. 40 days is also the time that we have until Easter comes. And we are entering the time of passion, the fasting time. We are entering a new period. As Jesus entered this period, because he came from the river of Jordan, where he was baptized, as we say, where he was immersed under the water and rose again as a new man, as the Jesus who will become Christ. And he will die, immerse and rise again on Good Friday, respectively on Easter morning. But still, he stayed 40 days in the desert and I am just about to finish my 40 days of service. The 40 days of service are not or didn't or haven't been a really hard time for me, but it, they can be. Doing a service as the angels serve Jesus is something when you don't look at, at your own needs, but you just serve. You don't pay respect to what you need yourself, but what others need. So this time in the desert can be a symbol for our coming time of fasting or approaching Easter. It takes courage to be in the desert. It takes courage to be confronted with the wild animals which symbolize our own dark sides, our own not to be governed or not to be, yeah, not, not of our own dark sides and our own fears, our own dark aspects of our soul. It takes courage to live with them. We are told that Jesus lived with them. And after he lived with them or in the moment where he lived with them, the angels cared for him extensively, fully. So there's sort of an inner connex between the spirit who drove him into the desert and the Satan who challenged him. And there's sort of an inner connex between the wild animals, his dark sides, his wild side, not to be fought against sides and the angels, the good forces, the forces of uh, sustain sustainability, the wonderful forces that cared for him. It's like an enigma for a whole life. So I would challenge you in the coming 40 days 
to not avoid your darknesses, to look and live with these sides that you don't want to show to anybody, with your dependencies, with the things or aspects in your life that you really think you can't live without them. I challenge you to live with these sides, not avoid them, not fight them, but live with them. And I promise you that when living with this dark side, with these animals, your angels will be there to sustain you, to give you everything you need, because it was the spirit that drove you into your deserts, the deserts of your life. So, live the 40 days approaching Easter with courage, confront and live with your wild and threatening sides and the angels will comfort you. Wherever you are, you're a blessing. Be blessed.